Hello everyone, I'm back again to do another video. Today's video is going to be my June 2015 wrap up video and I apologise again that I'm not wearing any makeup but I think it's the hottest it's been in the entire year today. There's no sun but it's so close and sticky and hot that I'm just like, I'm just a hot mess seriously. So I apologise. I was going to try and do three videos in a row today, get them filmed, but then I realised that my camera wasn't charged and I wasn't sure whether I would or not, so we'll just see. You might see me again for my June book haul. Um, for these books that are chilling over there, but we'll just have to see. Probably not. Okay, so the first book I read in June was Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. This is a mythological take on the Beauty and the Beast um, fairy tale. So it's a retelling of it, and it has a lot of mythology in it, which I didn't realise there'd be quite as much in it as I thought there would. But I actually really enjoyed it. It was a little bit confusing at times because of the amount of mythology, and it was a little bit hard to keep up with. But it was really good. Um, there was a love triangle in there that I really didn't see coming, um, and I wasn't really sure how I felt about one of the, uh, the love interests in it at all, to be perfectly honest. And it, there was a lot, it was sudden insta-love, which drove me a little crazy. But I really did enjoy this book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And, I mean, look at this cover. It's just beautiful. Then I read 10 by Gretchen McNeil. This is also a retelling of an Agatha Christie novel. And I believe it is a retelling of the book And Then There Were None. Although I wouldn't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure, to be perfectly honest. This is also a murder mystery and it was absolutely brilliant. I love this. I could not put it down, seriously. The main character is funny and interesting and she's really smart and I just loved her character. Seriously, she was amazing. And this was a 5 out of 5 star read for me. And then I read Burning Blue by Paul Griffin. This is another mystery thriller novel and I had mixed feelings about this one. I really did. I wasn't sure what to make of it, to be perfectly honest. I enjoyed reading it and trying to figure out the mystery and I honestly didn't see the end coming. I wasn't that keen on the main character. He is also a hacker, which I thought was really, really interesting. And I did enjoy this book, it's just I didn't really like his character all that much. I didn't find him too intriguing or anything. And I thought the writing style was a little bit strange and I, I just didn't get on with it as much as I thought I would. And I believe I give this three and a half out of five stars. And then I read a review copy which I got sent from Bloomsbury last year and that is Better Than Perfect by Simone Alcalaz. This is formally titled Wild Cards but for the UK they changed the name which is strange but yeah. Oh I did not get on well with this book at all. Uh, it's also told from the dual perspective of main, uh, male and female characters and I love the male character Derek. He was really funny and smart and just really really interesting and I loved him. He's supposed to be kind of a bad boy but he is a sweetie seriously. He's a right sweetheart and I just loved his character. Ashton is the female character and oh I did not like her at all which is what brought this book down for me first of all there was insta love between the two characters and secondly oh, she was so bitchy and immature and selfish and petty and ridiculous every single thing that I hate in a character she was it uh, the only good thing I could say about her character was the fact that she was a tomboy but she also had like a kind of girly sexy side which I thought was quite nice and uh, made it a bit interesting and different but I just didn't get on with this. There was also a lot of football related content and I didn't realise that from reading the synopsis at all and I'm not a sport person at all and that is usually a, a way I usually stick clear of because of the fact that I'm not into sport and it just sort of clean over my head. I gave this 3 out of 5 stars and although I loved Simone Alcalaz's writing I just didn't get on with this book. I will be reading more from her in the future but this just was not for me, this book. There is also a review of this one on my blog. If you would like to read it, I will leave the link down below. And the final book I read in June was Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I really, really enjoyed this book. I flew through the first half of this um, in one evening, and then over the last couple of days I read this one, uh, um, the other half, and it was really, really funny and different and it's just brilliant. I loved all three of the characters because it's told, told in the dual perspective of three 
and three of the girls and the whole revenge throughout the book was brilliant and they come up with some really imaginative and creative ideas to get revenge on these guys that have wronged them or guys slash girls that have wronged them so yes I really really love this book um it was really brilliant and I gave this four out of five stars so yes those were the books that I read last month I'm very pleased with myself because I read five which is doing really well for me so I am very pleased about that now I'm going to go because I am really really hot and disgusting and everything and I need to sit back in front of the fan because it's so hot I should stop complaining but I'm pregnant I'm allowed to complain I I'm huge I'm the size of a whale now and yeah <laughs> that's it so thank you very much for watching I hope you have a great week and I'll have another video up for you soon happy reading bye also a retelling of an Agatha Christie no Agatha <laughs> And I believe it's a retelling of the one, um, and then I read Burning Blue by Paul, and then, and I think the only, Anne Ashton is the female perspective, character, the character, I will leave the link down below if you would like to read it, I sh sure, 